CISSP practice question. Misconfigured VLAN leads to segmentation failure. Hey, a, a note before you begin though. Every time you answer a question like this, you know, with VLANs and segmentation words, you're practicing more than just technical recall. You're stepping into the mindset of someone responsible for enterprise-wide security decisions. So VLANs are not just, just about like right, routing traffic or segmenting. They're about creating trust boundaries. Re they reduce risk exposure to prevent network traffic from going from one local area network to another designated local area network. And to proving to even think about it to auditors that segmentation controls actual work. The CSP exam tests your ability to think at this level. Tec technical details, yes, but a higher level is governance. GRC, if you want to talk about that. And, you know, so does your future role, especially these days. You can't just think about technical stuff. You got to think about the overall organization objectives. And you know what? Thanks for being someone who studies like this and uh, who's just studying the CISP in general. The industry really needs you. I, I, I promise you that. Okay, so practice question. Rymar Tech's security team recently discovered that a misconfigured VLAN allowed sensitive database traffic to traverse the same broadcast domain as general office workstations. This oversight was uncovered during a PCI DSS audit, raising concerns that the cardholder data was exposed to unnecessary risk. The network team immediately corrected the issue, but now the CIO, the chief information officer, because this involves data, you know, CIO, the data role for CIO is they protect the data, chief information. What's information? Information is data. So the chief information officer wants to know how this could have been prevented at the policy level. So he's not looking for technical details. He's looking for something that talks to his role. He's not going to touch a router and configure VLANs or, or subnets or Ethernet ports. He wants to talk at the policy level because that's what he does. So as the security manager, otherwise known as the CISSP, what should you recommend to ensure VLAN segmentation aligns with governance and ongoing audit requirements? Is it choice A, implement Mac-based VLAN assignment to enforce user level isolation across all devices? Is it choice B, require all VLAN changes to go through formal change management and architecture, uh, architecture review? Or is it choice C, configure port security to restrict endpoint types based on device fingerprints? Or is it choice D, disable VLAN trunking entirely on all internal switches to prevent cross VLAN contamination? Um, if you want to think like a manager, this question is, is about more than just VLANs. It's about traceability and the other thing, the triple or the quadruple A, uh, the A being accountability. The CSP exam expects you to know how to tie technical safeguards back to policy and governance. That means your job is not to reconfigure switches. Maybe it is. But if you're also a person that knows how to make sure reconfigurations never happen without the right controls in place, then you're really good at your job as a CISSP. You don't just prevent misconfigurations, you prevent the conditions that allow them to go undetected. So why does choice A fall short? Because Mac-based VLAN assignments is useful in very specific environments like voice over IP or bring your own device or like shadow IT but it's operationally complex and doesn't address the governance issue. Basically, that's what it is. It doesn't address the governance issue. It's a control, not a governance mechanism. And choice C is incorrect because port security focuses on endpoint types and traffic control at a lower layer. Remember, we're talking to the CIO here. We're talking to directly to the chief information officer. He doesn't, he doesn't care anything about port security. It doesn't help him ensure that architectural segmentation is compliant with what his job needs to do. So this is more reactive and not strategic thinking. It's not thinking like a manager. And as I said, disabling VLAN trunking is an overly extreme uh, way of doing things. You don't want to disable anything. You know, as you've heard from other instructors, you don't want to, there's not a, the absolute answer is usually not the right answer. So choice D says, disable VLAN trunking entirely on all internal switches. That word all, it, it encompasses everything. That's usually not the answer. You as a CISSP, especially if in the real world, you know that you can't say no to things that the executives ask for. Saying no to executives is pretty much a surefire way of them thinking you're not able to do your job and they, they can't really have you around. So try not to say no to your executive management. Say yes or maybe, or we can look into it and give them a solution. Because if you were to stop lateral movement in theory, 
You can stop that with disabling VLAN trunking, but also cripples legitimate multi-VLAN designs and limits scalability. So, you know, companies have more than one VLAN. You can't just disable VLAN trunking. Yeah, it solves a symptom, not a root issue. So the core concept of this practice question is governance over configuration. Remember, again, the data role, the data, the role that you're trying to talk to here is a CIO. So the right answer focuses on how to make sure no one touches VLANs without oversight. And change control is not about bureaucracy. It's about creating a paper trail, documentation, and again, accountability. It's an audit path. And remember, we also mentioned PCI DSS in the, in the question. PCI DSS needs traceability. It needs accountability, a chain of accountability. And this is how security proves itself in the boardroom and to your CIO. The goal is, is not to stop mistakes, but the goal is to stop unverified changes. Okay? Security misconfigurations will happen, but how you govern them decides whether you're managing risk or letting it manage you. And guys, if anybody hasn't told you recently, um, thank you for studying the CISSP. I hope you get your certification. I hope you put those letters after your name. Uh, the world needs you, and uh, frankly, I need you. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, guys.